Nowadays, a major contributor to global warming is the poisonous gas emissions from cars. When cars are moving, they release some gases such as carbon monoxide which will, that will affect the atmospheric conditions negatively. The answer lies in the catalytic converters in cars. Catalytic converters are a device used to reduce harmful gas emissions that an engine produces. They will participate in chemical reactions but will remain chemically unchanged during the reaction. There are two types of catalytic converters, namely the oxidation catalyst and the reduction catalyst. Both consist of a ceramic structure coated with a metal catalyst, usually platinum, rhodium or palladium. It is to create a structure that exposes the maximum surface area of the catalyst to the exhaust stream so that a higher chance of complete combustion will occur, while also minimizing the amount of catalyst required as the materials are very expensive. A reduction catalyst helps to reduce the nitrogen oxide emissions. When any nitrogen oxide molecules such as nitrogen monoxide or nitrogen dioxide gets into contact with the catalyst, it will be broken down into nitrogen gases and oxygen which are less harmful gases being emitted. This is because the nitrogen atom will be separated by the oxygen and bond with other nitrogen atoms forming the nitrogen gas. The oxidation catalyst oxidizes the unburned hydrocarbons and carbon monoxide and they will eventually be converted into water vapor and carbon dioxide respectively which are not harmful gas emissions. There is also a control system which includes an oxygen sensor mounted at the top of the catalytic converter making it, making it closer to the engine than the converter. It will state how much of the oxygen is in the exhaust and the air to fuel ratio can then be adjusted to facilitate a complete combustion. This will increase the effectiveness and efficiency of the catalytic converter. Good afternoon, Professor Ho. What are the main emissions of a car engine that may contribute to global warming? Oh, they are nitrogen gas, carbon dioxide, and water vapor. Carbon dioxide is a product of combustion in which the carbon in the fuel reacts with the oxygen in the air. What happens when incomplete combustion occurs? It occurs when a limited supply of air is used and thus harmful emissions such as carbon monoxide and hydrogen carbon and nitrogen oxide are produced. Hydrogen oxides are a contributor to smoke and acid rain, which may cause irritation to human mucous membranes. There are two types of catalytic converters. One of them is the oxidation catalyst. Can you explain more about this catalyst? Oxidation catalyst helps to oxidize unburned hydrogen carbon and carbon monoxide into water vapor and carbon dioxide, which are less harmful substances. Nitrogen dioxide is a harmful gas emitted by car engines. Can you explain how catalytic converters convert the harmful nitrogen dioxide into the harmless nitrogen gas? When a nitrogen oxide or nitrogen dioxide molecule contacts the catalyst, the catalyst rips the nitrogen atom out of the molecule and holds on to it, freeing the oxygen in the form of diatomic molecule. The nitrogen atoms bond with other nitrogen atoms that are also stuck to the catalyst, forming nitrogen. Besides catalytic converters, what are some other measures to reduce harmful emissions by motor vehicles? In the long run, the best way to control air pollution is to burn less fossil fuels. Future control measures may include the use of alternative fuels such as methanol and hydrogen and the development of electric-powered motor vehicles.